Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about parity generator. Later I am going to tell you how to design even parity generator. So before going to even parity generator, first let me explain what do you mean by parity generator or checker. So parity generator, parity generator, the main purpose of parity generator is to introduce a new bit into the data format. Suppose I am having a data bits like D0, D1, D2, D3. Let us consider a 4-bit data format D3, D2, D1, D0. And when this information is being transmitted to the other point, like this is the source and this is the receiver. Okay, and the source is nothing but a transmitter and receiver is here. This is the receiver. Now receiver when receiving the same data D3, D2, D1, D0, the medium which is existed between the transmitter and receiver may be a wired medium or a wireless medium. So generally for a digital communication, most commonly in our normal and current situation, we are using a wireless data medium. Wireless medium. In this wireless medium, the most of the cases the data may be having a chance to get interpreted to get interrupted that means uh, the data whatever we have transmitted like uh, for example 1011 i am transmitting actually after passing through this much of uh, kilometers of distance this may be violated and it may be transmitted as 1010 what is happening here the last data bit is changing from 1 to 0. Actually, it has to be transmitted as 1, but it is transmitted as 0 because of some error, because of some error in the transmission line. So, we need to identify where the error is located and later we need to change it. Once the error is identified, it is very easy to change the information because if 1 is error, then 0 has to be changed. Okay. Uh, suppose if I identify that it is error, this bit has error. If I able to identify this, then this can be easily replaced by 0. Because if 1, because if one is a error, then you have to replace it with 0. If 0 is the error, then you have to replace it with 1. Only two options are there. In digital communication, only two options are there. One has to be replaced by 0 and 0 has to be replaced by 1. There is no other go. Okay. So that's why in uh, digital communication of this type of 0, 1's transmission, uh, whenever the error is identified, it is very easy to replace. Okay. So in order to identify that error, in order to identify that error, we are using a an additional bit into the original data format that is nothing but parity bit so parity bit parity bit is an additional bit parity bit is an additional bit used along with used along with original message original message and retrieved the same at the receiver at the receiver okay whatever the data format we have added in the <coughs> parity bit format that will be removed after receiving from the receiving side okay this is what the main purpose of parity bit. So parity bit has to be added with the original message bit and it will be removed after receiving it. Okay. So this is the main purpose of parity bit and this is what a parity bit is. Now, how to generate a parity generator? So in order to generate the parity generator, parity generators are designed with the help of 
exclusive gates exclusive gates okay that means we can use either xor gate or xnor gate xor gate is the one which is used for the even parity generator and xnor gate is used for the generation of odd parity so that's why there are two types of parity generators available two types of parity generators or you can also say parity checkers are available they are they are first one even parity generator even parity generator and second one odd parity generator odd parity generator okay so what do you mean by even parity generator even parity generator is nothing but the one which will consist of the number of ones is equal to the even okay so even parity generator means in the message bit along with the parity bit in the message bit and parity bit the total number of bits should be even <coughs> suppose even parity generator okay so what is going on here in the even parity generator so the number of ones the number of ones in both message and parity bit should be even okay for example for example i have a message bit i have a message bit like 1011 okay this is the message bit with d3 d2 d1 d0 and this is the parity bit like p0 is equal to 1 i am taking this is the parity bit okay so now let me tell you whether the even parity generator is satisfied or not so 1 2 3 4 this is satisfied okay that means uh, here in the message bit there are there are odd number of ones 1 2 3 so 3 is nothing but odd so in the message bit there are odd number of ones that's why to make it as even parity we are taking this parity bit as 1 so that the overall total number of ones total number of ones in the overall bit is nothing but even okay suppose i have 1 1 1 1 4 ones are there four ones are there then what about the parity bit parity bit is simply zero parity bit is simply zero because there is no use of parity bit information because already we have already we have even number of ones in the message bit so with this concept we are going to draw the truth table for the four bit even parity generator okay so in this video i am what i am going to do is i am taking the four bit even parity generator k map and then logic circuit for the same <coughs> okay so truth table so we are taking four bit data like a b c d and output parity bit even parity output parity bit something like f so we know very well four bits are nothing but coming it gives totally 2 power 4 16 combinations will come so four zeros 0011 now the number of ones zero so even it is also zero here the number of ones are one in the message bit 
but when we are taking this parity bit one then these two will give you even number this is also same this is zero again this is one this is zero this is zero this is again one next eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay so here it is again 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 now let us go to the k map of this one we know very well how to map the k map as it is a 4 variables are there so 4 input k map 4 variable k map we should, we should consider A, B, C, D, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Here we have 1, this is 1. So we have 1 set alternate positions. So no two ones have a chance to map. <coughs> Therefore, F is equal to A bar, B bar, C bar D plus A bar B bar C D bar plus A bar B C bar D bar plus A bar B C D plus A B C bar D plus A B C D bar plus a b bar c bar d bar plus a b bar c d a b bar c d so if you take this a bar b bar common then the remaining a bar b bar if you take common c bar d plus c d bar nothing but c x r d plus if you take a bar b common this is C bar D bar C D nothing but X nor so X R whole bar plus A B if you take common again it is C X R B C X R D plus A B bar if you take common it is again C X nor D nothing but whole bar so that is equal to again it will give like a bar b bar this one plus a b the same nothing but a x nor b x r c x r d will come from all this okay so how we can draw this simply f is equal to a x r b x r c x r d So simply XR operation between inputs. One more XR gate. This is A, B, C, and then we have one more. XR. This is D. This is your parity, even parity generator. Thank you.